Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how you can create this beachy wave, bouncy, healthy, beautiful Victoria's Secret hairdo using a flat iron. This is a twist flat iron and I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how I created this look today. It did not take a lot of time so I'm excited to show you how I have perfected my technique over the last couple months to show you how you can literally do this in just a few minutes your entire head and I'm also going to show you the products that I love that have been protecting my hair to make sure that it stays healthy and also keeps this hairdo in place all day long. So without further ado, let's get started. So I have basically just dried my hair with a blow dryer and just any flat normal brush so nothing special. I just want to make sure that my hair was nice and dry. I do want to share with you the products that I have in my hair right now because I feel like that makes a huge difference, especially if you want this look to last more than just one day. So right out of the shower, I apply the Hydrate Shine Max by Pureology, and I will link all of these products below for you. I use about four drops of this product, and I will also use about four drops of the Caviar Style Luxe Shape. And that leads me up to the point right now. So I have those two products in my hair right now. And now I'm going to apply the It's a 10 Miracle Oil. And this is also a heat protectant. So I'm going to show you how I put in, you don't need a ton of this, but I put in just a little bit here. And this is great in the ends of your hair. It's going to really control the frizz and it's also going to give you a nice healthy shine. So you just want to work this through the ends from like the middle to the ends of your hair. It also helps to control some of these like flyaways that you'll get up here at the top. So the first step is to take your hair and just divide it in two. So I'm going to go right from my crown and I'm just going to separate my hair in two parts. And then I'm going to take my hair and separate it in another two parts. Now taking the twist iron, I have already set this to the hottest temperature, which works well for my hair. This is at the 220. Now the trick with this iron, if you want waves and the waves that I'm going to show you how to make today, then you want to make sure you'll see that there are two different types. So this one has a curve and this one is flat. So this iron you can actually use to just straighten your hair, but you can use this to obviously create waves, which is what I'm showing you how to do today. So I'm going to show you how with this end that curves, you always want to make sure that this is the last part that covers your hair if you are trying to make a wave. So let me demonstrate what I mean by that. And you're just going to take about an inch of hair, not too much, but just about this much hair, and I like to straighten the root of my hair because I have naturally curly hair and that just helps me to really get a nice straight look at the root. So I'm going to take the flat part first and just go down with it. So that's the actual opposite of what I'm going to do for the wave. So now that I'm doing a wave, as you can see this one, on this side is going to be the last part that wraps around my hair and I'm always going away from my face. So when I switch over to this side, it's going to go away from my face. Right now I'm going to go away from my face. So my wrist is turning away from my face and I'm coming towards the mirror. So when you're looking in the mirror, you take the strand of hair and you twist away from your face and you just pull straight forward and you're going to be able to determine how much pressure you want to put on your own hair. Since everyone's hair is different, it might take a little bit more effort or you need to go slower or faster. Obviously, if you have more fine hair, you won't want as much heat, but I have pretty thick hair. So I will twist it with my finger and just pull it down and just let it cool like this and move on to that next piece. So again, I'm going to flatten first at the root where this end is the last part on my hair and now I'm going to flip it and let that curved part be the last part that curves around my hair and I'm just going to pull that forward. 
as you can see I'm not pulling out or back or up I'm just coming straight forward just like this all the way to the ends and I'm just twisting that around my finger again away from my face straighten and then flip straighten and flip do keep in mind that if you see any steam be very careful with your hair make sure that's not your hair burning in my case I know that it's the product that I have on my hair and I've completed this entire side so I'm gonna move on to the next side and show you how you will do the reverse so I'm going to just take that first piece and I'm going to comb that out with my mint pear detangler brush and I'm going to straighten that top section and then I'm going to flip away from my face so my wrist is now because I'm right-handed I'm going to flip it upside down but I'm going to flip away from my face and as you can see the one that I'm flipping last is this top one and that's going to wrap last around my hair and come all the way forward and I just go a few times until I feel like it's really caught that curl and move on to that next section again straighten flip the iron and this little piece down here really helps on this left side for me where I can squeeze the two plates together and as you can see I'm just basically rotating that one full turn and pulling it dragging it forward and literally the bottom half is finished it's that quick and that easy it's still a little warm so I'm not fingering through this I'm letting it cool entirely before I finger through my hair and I'm gonna move on to that top section and I'm going to drop this section forward and again I'm going to divide it into two parts and this is where you want to really fix the part for how you want your hair so I typically will just do a side part and I'll just do like a little zigzag here. So I'm actually going to bring it together in one piece for the back and comb through this. And again, I'm going to straighten the root and take it to the side. And I'm just going to get a nice And then I'm just going to continue to move forward. I personally always save the front for last so that I can really see what I'm doing and how I want that to look. So I start from the back and move forward with my pieces. Again, straightening with this flat one on the bottom. And then I flip it over and put the curve on the bottom to pull that around to the front. Okay, so these, okay, so, okay, so. these little baby hairs up here, they get very curly for me. So I take this straightener very carefully because it's so hot. And I just straighten those and pull those away from my face into that piece of hair. And then again, I flip that over really fast. Making the curved part on the bottom and just pulling it forward. And again, letting all of those ringlets cool off before we finger through them to make them into waves. Don't make your parts too large or you won't be able to have that wave last a long time.
Now the last part, I always like to give my swoopy bangs a nice little lift. So I'm gonna take the flat end on the bottom and I'm just going to pull that back to kind of give a little lift. And then I'm going to flip it with that curved bottom on the bottom again to complete that wave. And I just pull that back away from my face. And I will twist that in to the other ringlets to cool off. Now to control humidity and getting any frizz, like I have a little bit of these flyaways going on, what I like to do is I will take that same serum, which is the It's a 10 Miracle Oil, and I'm only gonna do a tiny little amount, just like a little drop in between my fingertips. And then I will just finger through my hair over the top and kind of where I have some of those little flyaways. And this really helps to control the frizz. Just that tiny little amount makes a really big difference in controlling those little rogue pieces. Additionally, I like to take the Chi Magnified Volume Hairspray and just spray that a little bit. And then I will finish with the Unite 7 Seconds Glossing. I love this stuff, especially being in Austin, Texas. This is a lifesaver. So it's very light and airy. The only thing is once you use this product, you're not supposed to really go in and use um, heat tools again. So save this for your special events. Okay, so now I've given my hair just a few minutes to cool off so it's no longer hot to the touch. And that's when it's okay for you to take your hand and just shake out the curls a little bit. So I'm just going to go just like this and just kind of finger through those. And there you have it, beautiful, easy, healthy, soft curls. As long as you're using the right heat protecting products, it's okay to use this tool. I use this tool almost three times a week and that's because I don't shampoo my hair every single day. So I'm just touching up really when I'm going back over my hair with the tool. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the back of course. Again, this is not a sponsored video, but I get so many questions on how I do my hair for my tutorials, and this really is the secret. It's that easy, it's that simple to just go through your entire hair. I have a lot of hair, so even for myself to be able to do that so quickly and get a look that lasts for days, it's really awesome. Uh, this is not the Time branded machine, so I want you to make sure that you know that. This one is literally just a knockoff that I found, and I'm going to put the link below. This is not a sponsored video, but I do like this brand, and I I think that um, you guys will really enjoy it as well. It also comes with some really cool accessories like a velvet pouch for storage and then also a thermal protective glove. So that would come in handy for anyone that doesn't have a lot of experience with curling irons or flat irons so you're not going to burn yourself. If you guys have any questions just leave those below for me. I hope this tutorial was really helpful. I wanted to remake this tutorial of course because the first time I tried this I had no idea what I was doing and it ended up being a really long video. So I wanted this to be a quick easy video that you could follow and come back to when you need to actually try to use the tool if you're having any issues. So if there's anything that I missed in this video, just leave a comment below and I'll be sure to respond and help where I can. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your support with a like for this video and a comment. And I will see you in my next video. Take care.